Hello and welcome to this video on finding the distance between two points. Now let's just suppose that we've got these two points here. So we've got the point A, which is the origin, so it's 0, 0, and we've got the point here, B, which is 3, 4, and we want to find this distance. Now the clever way of doing this is to actually form a right angle triangle. So if I do a vertical line and I do a horizontal line, I do have a right angle triangle here. And let's just think about the lengths involved. Well, what's this length at the bottom? Well, that x value is zero, that x value is three, so that must be a width of three there. And what's this height? Well, that y value is zero, that y value is four, so that distance must be four there. And then we can just use Pythagoras' theorem. So we know, whatever this distance is d, we can do one of the shorter length squared, so three squared, plus the other shorter length squared, four squared, is equal to that hypotenuse squared, the distance. So if you square root both sides, we have d is the square root of three squared plus four squared, and that would give us five, because that's nine plus 16 is 25, square root of 25 is five. So this distance was five. And in general, if you have two points, and you want to find the distance between them, then what you do is you find what the change in the x value is and this is the Greek letter capital delta and that just means change in. So you find the change in x between these two coordinates and the change in y and then this distance here d is just going to be using Pythagoras on this so it's going to be the square root of change in x squared plus the change in y squared just like before the change in x was 3 the change in y was 4, and we did the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, just like we're doing here. So that is your key formula there. Right, so let's do some more examples. We've already done 1a. We've got uh, 1b. So we have 3, 5, and we've got 8, 18. What is the distance between those? Well, it's going to be the square root of... Now you can mostly do these in your head, the changes. So what's the change in x? So remember, this is the x value and this is the y value. And students so often get this wrong. Um, the change in x from three to eight, that's a change of five. So we do five squared plus, what's the change in y? Well, five to 18, that's a difference of 13. So the change is 13 squared. And then when we put that in our calculator, we get the square root of five squared plus 13 squared is equal to the square root of 194, which as a decimal is 13.923 significant figures. And there we go, that's the distance between those. If we do the next one, we've got 1c, we've got 7 minus 5 and 0, 19. Now, the distance is the square root of, what's the change from seven to zero? Now you might be tempted to put minus seven, and you could do minus seven squared, which is 49. Well, you might as well consider the change to be positive, so we could just use seven squared, because seven squared is the same as minus seven squared, isn't it? They'll both be positive. Plus, what's the change in y? Well, from minus five to 19, we're adding 24, so it's 24 squared. And if we put that into a calculator, we end up with 25. So the distance between those is 25. Right, let's do this harder one here. And in order to be able to do this question, you need to understand how to solve quadratic equations. So you may want to view that video first uh, before you look at this problem with me. Right, so the distance between minus 2, 4 and 1, a is 5. Find the possible values of a. Now, don't be intimidated by the fact this question is a bit different. We use exactly the same approach. How would we usually find the distance between these? Well, so we've got these two points. Well, we do the distance, which we know is 5, because it already tells us the distance, 5, is the square root of the change in x squared. So the change from minus 2 to 1 is 3, so 3 squared, plus, and what's the change in y? Well, to find the change, we subtract them. So it's going to be a minus 4 would be the change. So we can write a minus 4 squared. And it doesn't matter if we put 4 minus a squared the other way around, because when we square it, it's going to be the same anyway. And then let's get rid of that square root. We don't want that square root there. So we'll square both sides to get 25 is 3 squared, which we'll just write as 9. And we've got that squared, which we can just write up twice, that bracket. And then let's just expand that bracket. So we've got a times a is a squared. We've got a times minus 4, but also minus 4 times a. So we get minus 8a in total, and minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16. 
And now, look, this is a quadratic equation. We've got an A squared term, and we've got an A term, and we've got some constant terms as well. So let's get it all on one side. We'll put everything on the right-hand side because A squared is already positive. So we've got A squared. We've just got the minus 8A. And then on this side, we've got plus 25. Now what we could do is we could subtract 25 from both sides because we want 0 on one side, and that just gives us a squared minus 8a equals 0. Now how do we factorise this? Well this is where we have a common term, so we could do a brackets because we've got a common factor of a, a minus 8, because a times a is a squared, a times minus 8 is minus 8a equals 0. And do you remember, when we have the product of two things is zero, it means one or both is zero. So if the first thing is zero, then we just got a is zero. And in the second case, we've got, well, if a minus eight is zero, then a would be equal to eight. And that does work. If you had a, for example, was eight, then you've got the change in x is three, the change in y, four to eight is four. Three squared plus four squared is 25 square root, that is 5, which does give us the correct distance. And the same would apply with 0 as well. That's definitely a valid solution. Now, just one quick test your understanding question. I want you to work out the distance between these two points here. We're going to have minus 3, 1, and 2, minus 11. Right, you may want to pause the video here to have a go at finding the distance between those points. Right, let's do it. So, do you remember that the formula was d is equal to the square root, the change in x squared, plus the change in y squared? So, the change in x, we're going from minus 3 to 2. That change is 5. The difference is 5. So, it's the square root of 5 squared, plus what's the change in y? What to get from 1 to minus 11? We're subtracting 12. But we can just do 12 squared. Minus 12 squared and 12 squared is the same thing. The change is just 12. And then that gives us the square root of 25 plus 144, which is the square root of 169, which is equal to 13. And that is the final answer. Well done if you got that right.